name is Ralph Frisch. I am the Solution Director for Public Transport and Apps at BDV Group and I am a strong supporter of public transport. Luckily enough, I live nearby Karlsruhe, a city in Germany that offers a very good public transport system. Moreover, Karlsruhe is famous for its public transport, so-called tram train system or even called the Karlsruhe model. The format allows trams to use the same infrastructure as heavy rail because the tram vehicles are equipped with two power supply systems. This means for the passengers that they can travel from outside into the inner city without the need of a transfer at, for example, the main station, directly to the hotspots of our beautiful city. The same or similar variations of such a system can be found all over the world, like in Milhouse in France, Fayuma in Japan, New Jersey in the US or in Alicante in Spain. However, this successful system has also negative side effects. With all trams going directly through the pedestrian zone of the city center, it is rather difficult for the pedestrians to cross the street because of the tram jam. Due to this critical situation, it was decided to build several tunnels to transform trams into undergrounds in the inner city of Karlsruhe. As you can imagine, this project costs a tremendous amount of money. How do we assess whether such a project will be worth its costs? Will the passenger profit from the planned measures? Will there be a change in model split, which means that more people will use public transport instead of driving with a car? With strategic public transport modeling, it is possible to answer such questions before the money is spent. A multimodal approach enables you to evaluate the cost-benefit ratio of projects or determine the value between the differences of potential network scenarios. It might make a difference in applying a 10 minutes headway on a tram line instead of a 20 minutes headway regarding the costs on the one hand, but also winning additional passengers on the other hand. Also new housing areas will have an effect on the mobility in the city. It is possible to predict the impact of the additional traffic with the help of modeling software. By setting up a demand model, including several demand segments like individual transport, public transport, cyclists and pedestrians, you can evaluate the development of such a new part of a city. Please do not forget to link the new inhabitants properly to your existing public transport network. To calibrate, those models' detailed mobility data is essential. You can import data from different sources such as household service, automatic passenger counting or ticketing systems. In future, also mobile phone data will play an increasing role. Today's public transport must be more attractive to existing as well as to potential passengers. Expectations are high for both service quality and cost efficiency. These are challenging times for all parties. Around the globe, the PDV Group has assisted decision makers to find the right answers to fundamental questions regarding public transport. See you in the next tram. Goodbye.